It will be a huge week for markets, with equities on the edge awaiting key U.S. CPI data and the quarterly earnings season kicking off. Also, U.S. inflation data is out on Thursday, as well as the FOMC meeting minutes. The U.S. inflation will be the next catalyst to test the Fed's pivot narrative and the path ahead for U.S. yields and U.S. dollar. Headline inflation is expected to fall slightly, but stay above 8%. Bloomberg consensus expectations are at 8.1% year-over-year from 8.3% year-over-year in August, but the month-over-month -month print is expected higher at 0.2% from 0.1% previously. The core measure is also likely to swell further and come in at 6.5% year-over-year from 6.3% in August. While market reaction to CPI print cannot be ignored as pricing for Fed's path remains volatile, Fed members have been clear about their intent to keep rates high until inflation comes down naturally. Since we're talking FOMC, we have to talk about the US dollar. So taking a look at the dollar index currency chart on the one hour time frame, we're seeing a strong upward trend, some bullish momentum for the US dollar in the month of October. If we switch it to the daily chart, we can see that this US dollar strength has really just been taking off in the past couple months, really all year the dollar has been on an upward trajectory and keeps making higher highs. So we'll see how FOMC data impacts the dollar. Speaking of the dollar, we're going to take a look at one of our major currency pairs. We're going to take a look at USD CHF has been a fairly popular uh, currency to trade in the past couple weeks. The edge finder giving this a score of plus four, COT data sitting at plus two. We can take a look at that right over here. Are you brand new to trading? Do you have a strategy that's not going so well and maybe you think you need some help or maybe you just don't even know where to start? Well, lucky for you, A1 Trading has a trading help desk. All you have to do is fill out this form. At the bottom of the form is a list of things that you might need some help with. After you select that, we'll send you an email with a playlist of free videos from our YouTube channels, some tips on where you might want to begin, and even examples from our in-house traders and what they do in these situations. We'll even give you a peek at some trading tools that we provide that could help. Use the link in the description, the A1 Trading Help Desk. Click that link and get started now. Over the past couple days, institutional traders are actually even more long than they were originally, 77.71% long for the dollar, 22.29% short and 34.76% long for the Swiss franc, 65.24% short there. So institutional traders buying the dollar, selling the Swiss franc. Uh, retail sentiment is 23% long and 77% short overall on the pair. And we can see seasonality wise in the month of October leading into November and December that there's actually a strong, strong downward trend historically speaking, moving into those months, but we will see how the pair reacts to FOMC news as well as the upcoming months. GDP growth, inflation, unemployment sit at scores of negative one, and we have our data over here for those. U.S. employment numbers, 3.5%, slightly better than last quarter. Interest rate, 3.25%. Uh, compared to 1.9% unemployment for the Swiss franc and 0.5% interest rates for the Swiss franc as well. And we're also going to take a look at gold. So here on the gold chart page, we have a strong, strong sell bias, score of negative six. And gold often works inversely with the dollar. So the stronger the dollar gets, gold goes down. So gold is a sell because the dollar is a buy at the moment. Looking at COT data. We actually have a neutral score here. We've seen the 77% long for the US dollar, but gold, institutional traders are actually long on gold at the moment, 62.86% long. And so are retail traders overall for gold, 75% long and 25% short there. Seasonality, historically speaking, again, we are in the month of October, so there are our numbers for October. And historically speaking, Moving into November and December, we're seeing upward trends, so keep an eye out for that. Now we're gonna transition into our head trader, Trader Nick, talking about some US dollar pairs in his previous live stream. Stuff there, pound USD. Pound USD selling off pretty hard off of the reaction to this. Here is your pound movement. Uh, we did in fact hold that level of resistance. Beautiful sell off here. 
And for the sellers um, or, or for um, people watching this, if we get some sort of break of the lows, you could actually see some more follow through move, perhaps even into the weekend. Um, watch for a break of below this. Again, I don't, we're kind of just in range right now, but we are looking awfully close to possibly breaking that level, breaking that low and offering some, some new lows here to go along with it. So very, um, very interesting to watch. Let's also take a look at Euro USD, the cousin of pound dollar and see what's going on. Look at this. Wow. Euro dollar breaking back down underneath uh, this low here and looking like some momentum has picked up on this one, uh, actually looking even stronger to the downside right now than the pound. So the pound, uh, you know, couldn't quite break the lows, but the Euro dollar looks very, very much like it's ready to go here. Um, let's take a look at, at the Euro dollar higher time frame, right? So here is your move there. Uh, or at least where I think where price could be headed back to if this thing stays bearish, a move back to maybe 95.50, give or take, uh, looks pretty dang uh, uh, likely here in the next coming days or weeks. That's just my opinion. I do like the euro dollar short. Uh, the edge finder has also been calling for a lot of short side on the euro. Let's see if that is still the case. Uh, last week it was, yep, still still short bias on the euro dollar. Uh, negative seven, actually the strongest sell reading. Uh, that we currently have on the edge finder, uh, which is really quite crazy. So again, Euro dollar looking really, really weak. If we take a look at NZD USD as well, uh, another one of the higher risk on currency pairs, we can see NZD USD breaking through the lows and finding sellers big time there. Um, this one has already quite been quite sold off. So there's not a lot of uh, move here for me in terms of uh, short term trades, so that, though, if we draw in some fibs, Maybe if you get a swing back, possibly, you know, this might be more of a, a next week play, possibly a retest in this area. 38.2 could be interesting, but we're a bit of a ways away from that, especially with today's spike still sort of uh, finding its feet and figuring out what it wants to do. Uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Um, so let's see. Elton thinks dollar Swiss is going to drop. You may very well be right. So far, it's done quite well. Um, even if it drops at this point, we're in a good spot. Look at that thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars of profit on the trade so far, uh, with a stop loss trailed to four hundred and forty dollars of profit. If this thing collapses, then we will still make money on it. Um, but if this thing rallies, wow, it's looking very, very close here to the top. Um, you might say, Oh, that's resistance, it's going to sell off. Well, just be careful because this thing is in an uptrend, right? It's trending well to the upside, and this level to me, if I'm looking at this. I'm saying this thing looks ready to pop. The dollar Swiss looks ready to break higher. Again, higher lows, strength overall in this market, Federal Reserve hawkish. I mean, all these things stacked up. The dollar looks really strong and um, trying to fight it has been a losing game this year. And so for me, I've just continued to be um, bullish in the dollar pretty much throughout the entire year. Make sure you guys check out the links in the description if you need broker recommendations, access to our free Discord, or want to chat with us on Telegram. If you're interested in our trading software, The Edge Finder, you can find that in the description as well. Thanks for watching.